Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to create a remarketing list. So in the previous video, we set up the um, remarketing tag. And as you can see here on the right hand side, it says that they haven't, they haven't detected the AdWords tag. That, that usually takes up to a day or two. So I've installed it on my website, but it's still not showing up and it'll probably take a day or two. But that's okay because we can still get on with stuff without that showing up. And the first thing we want to do is create a remarketing list. So as you can see here, it's created one by default, but I like to create additional ones. And what I like to do is I first of all like to create lists um, by rules as opposed to tags. And I like to create lists of different duration. So it's a good, it's good practice to create, um, I like one for um, 30 days, but it's a good sanity check to keep a list for one day. And that way you, because if you, if you don't have a, um, a list for one day, then it's quite hard to detect if your remarketing tag is working by looking at other ones. But if you have one for one day, if that list is empty and traffic is going to your site, it's a good way to tell if the remarketing tag is working or not. So if it's empty, um, then you know something's wrong with the remarketing tag. So that's why I just like to, to keep it there, even though I'm not going to re, um, apply that rule to retarget to people based on a one-day basis. It's just for my own benefit to ensure that it's working properly. So we'll do that one now. So I'm going to call it one day, and it applies for my website. And I'm going to keep it as um, any visitor on my page. So what I say, people who visit any of the pages, and I'm going to say W contains green arrow digital.com. So it's saying here, people who visited pages with any of green arrow digital.com. So any variation, whether they came into an inner page or the home page, it doesn't matter. It's going to fire this tag. And here's where I change it to one day. And then I click save. And here you can see an additional list has been added. It's rule-based. Rule Membership duration is one day. And here's the rule that defines this list, which is the URL has greenarrowdigital.com in it. So there, we've created a one-day rule, and we can do the same for a 30-day rule. So I'm going to do the same thing. I leave this as 30 days and I click save. And there you have it, created a 30 day list. So you can keep doing this based on different time frames that you like. And you know, we, we'll get into some advanced remarketing tags later, but this is how you just set it up from the outset.